Hi everyone, so I just got back from Korea yesterday. If you guys didn't know, I went to Korea last week for like about 5 days for a school trip. And I just got back yesterday like I said. And I'm just gonna do a little haul for you guys. And these are the things that I got for myself. I actually bought um, a lot more things, really I exceeded my budget. But um, I gave out every, um, those things to everyone. Um, so I'm just left with what I um, like actually bought for myself. And I'm just going to show you guys what they are. So we're going to just jump into everything. The first thing is by Ethid House and it's called Nymph Aura Volume. It, the box got really like weirded out in the luggage. But this is what it looks like. I think it has, um, like haven't, hasn't come to Singapore yet, the range. But basically I think it's um, for the winter time where your skin, sorry if my, I keep touching my hair, but um, uh, for the winter time when you have skin is a little bit drier, you know, in the colder countries, um, um, this Nymph Aura Volume is supposed to give you like a dewy look and I really believe that it does. I'm actually wearing it right now and as you guys can see, I'm not using any highlight at all. You can just tell that my face is really illuminated. I'm just going to show you guys how it looks like. There's um, two colors. I got the one in a pink, um, like a pinky kind of shade. There's the one that is a per pearlescent shade. I'm just gonna show you guys how do it looks. It gets a bit sticky, like when you rub it in, but it tries to like, I wouldn't say a powder finish, but and wouldn't say a matte finish, but it's not as sticky because it really is sticky. My friend didn't got this because she felt that like it was too sticky, but since I'm into that dewy glowy look, I'm, I think I'm always saying that, but. I really like this product. Oh, I don't think it's showing. Oh, you can see there. That part. It's like, you just dip your hair in water. They said to mix uh, one part of this with three parts of BB cream foundation. But I just use this all over my face. And then I pump it, do, uh, pump it on the back of my hand with my foundation. And I just use the brush to apply the whole thing. And I really, really like it. Next thing, um, oh sorry, that was from Etude House if I haven't mentioned that. And this is from the Face Shop. And it's called the Face and Eat Precious Collection. Um, I don't know if this is limited edition, but I haven't seen it in Singapore. So I think, I'm not too sure, but um, it may come to Singapore. If not, I'm really sorry. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It comes, oh, that's Telegram. I actually played around with this. Um, already, and this is what it looks like. Comes with um, this, and it's in the uh, it's from the face and it line. And you just pop the cover up like that, twist it to lock the brush in place, and you can just use the brush all over. And it's really quite soft for a Etude House. Uh, I mean, face shop brush. Usually, brushes like this are a bit um, how do I say it? Not the best quality, but this is not too bad. And this is what um, it looks like the packaging, and yes, it reminds me of Benefit's um, box powders, and it really is the same thing. So I haven't mentioned what it is, but I'm just gonna show you guys. It's actually a highlighter. The Koreans really love um, shimmery products, and you can you guys can tell by this particular one. It's like all shades of shimmer everywhere. And I think um, the lavender, I mean this white, pink, and this darker pink is actually just like an overlay. When you use a couple of times, you're just gonna get the shimmer, which is this uh, lavender color. I tried it just now, and it's not really the best highlighted uh, highlighter because it's a bit. I don't know how to say it. it's not. Uh, it's not finely milk, uh, so you can actually just see like chunks of glitter instead of like a. Um, like a highlighter, you just see chunks of glitter. I didn't really like that, but I'm just gonna try this out a few more times to see if I like it. If not, then <laughs> I don't know. I, I got that for okay, I got this, I can't remember how much I got this for. I think it was 12,000 12, won, and this was 19,900 won, so it's like the $14.20 and 20 odd plus dollars. And next, you guys know how much I rave about. The Etude House yogurt cleansing, um, like yogurt cleansing cereal mix, 
uh, cleanser and I really wanted to get another one of that since I'm um, since I was already there and things that are super cheap but I said try a new cleanser and it's called um, happy tea time milk tea cleansing foam sorry I'm squinting because I can't see without my glasses and I didn't want to wear this uh, for this video because I think my eyeshadow is too pretty Anyway, I love milk tea. My friend joked that I could make a drink out of this. I'm just, I just have to finish my yogurt one before I use it. I don't want to like use a lot at the same time. And I'm really excited about this product. Um, it's a Nivea lip balm in... I don't know if it's a pure natural line, but it's called the Milk and Honey. And this is not in Singapore yet. And actually, I before the trip, I bought the soft rose one. And it's really amazing. It looks like that. It's pink, but it's, um, it isn't tinted at all. Um, before this, I actually used the blue colored ones. Two, I finished two whole tubes of that, and then I used the chamomile one, the green tube. Um, I finished that, and now I'm using this rose one. So you can tell that I really, really love this lip balm. They're really moisturizing, and I think it's super pretty how they have like different flavors, and it they are. Lip balm is tinted, but it's not actually tinted. It goes on transparent on your lips. So I really like that, and I can't wait to try this out. I'm gonna finish this one first. It's just so I can save it, since we can't find this in Singapore. I'm sorry, I, I sound like a rocker right now, because I think on the second day, me and a friend were karaoke in the hotel room, and we were like screaming and shouting, and I, I shouted the SNSD fan chant for O, and I screamed like crazy, and the next day, I had this, and... No matter how much I drank, I still couldn't get rid of this sore throat. So I'm just gonna leave it. Next thing that I got is this. Oh my god. I actually got this color my brows. Um tinted eyebrow. Oh, what's it called? Eye gel eyebrow gel. And it's in the color rich brown. And it's not here. So I think it must have dropped out somewhere when I use it today. Because when I went to the shop, the lady was like, the lady was super sweet, she recommended me a lot of stuff and she was she noticed my hair was coloured and then my brow, you can tell my brow is super thick and it was black, so it was like a very stark difference. Um, I didn't really care about my eyebrows uh, then because this is the first time that I actually dyed my hair, so I didn't really care about my brows, but now since it's um, dyed, I decided to get that and yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm actually using it right now. You guys can... Um, tell that the color is a bit a brown instead of black and you can tell it actually matches the hair color quite nicely and I really like that sorry if I'm actually looking at the screen because I'm just not used to um, filming with this camera um, this is a new camera so feel free to tell me what you guys think of the quality and I'm super excited about this product it's uh, from the Korean cosmetic shop called Holika Holika if you guys have been to Wisma, I think it's in Wisma, you can see the shop is opposite F31 which is now closed and they're gonna put, I think, cotton on there or gap, a gap there or something, I, I don't know. And But it's actually the Magic Pole Mascara and this is shaped like the Giorgio um, Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara and the Benefit Daryl Mascara so I'm really excited to get a, a cheaper version of it and this, if I'm not wrong, was $12 so like you can you can't really beat that and I bought um, this is the length one I bought the volume one for my sister and the purple color one for my other sister and I can't wait to try this out I'm actually currently still using the fairy drops mascara so I don't want to like open this up because I'm too scared it will dry up and I don't want to spend like how, how much how expensive I don't spend a lot of money on holika holika I hope it's good though if it's good then like oh, yeah um, there's things that are super cheap like oh, that wasn't fun anyway the thing is they're super cheap um like um I bought my for my stand at the house I should have palette and in Singapore it was um it is thirty six dollars and in Korea I got it for like twelve thousand won and oh my god how like the price difference is too crazy so the last thing that I got for myself is actually a hair product and it's from Edit House. It's called the Silk Scarf. I don't know if you guys can see that. The light is blinding. Okay, it's not focusing. But it's called the Hologram Hair Serum. And the lady recommended this to me as well. I actually just bought everything that she recommended me. Um, 
and it's a hair serum and it smells so good. I haven't actually opened this up. I bought two of these but I gave one to my cousin. And I'm really excited to try this one out. Um, I'll let you guys know what I think of it in another video. But when she tried it um, at the shop for me, it was really really good. Because um, I curled my hair then and the, curl, um, the curls like look very... You know, my hair looked very shiny and it's super pretty. So, I don't know if they sell this in Singapore. I hope they do though, because I think I really like it. I mean, I'm not sure, because I only tried it once, but yeah, I love it. Um, all the things there. And that is basically it for my career haul. I hope you guys enjoy it. I probably, I mean, I am probably going to do like a small vlog. I know I only did one vlog, um, the day two vlog, because... Um, after all the traveling from that day, I was so tired to um, actually vlog properly. Um, so, like day two was, you was I was still like hyped up about everything. But after that, I was really very tired. So I just like played my iPad, watch a bit of TV, and just like go to sleep. Anyway, I guess that is it. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope to see you guys next time please like this video if you guys enjoyed watching this um subscribe to me and also leave a comment below thanks you guys love you bye